My favorite thing about the cello is definitely playing with other people. I love the range of the cello, that the low, but you can also play high and just the depth. One time I heard when you play the cello like this, you're kind of embracing the cello, and I like that. I love getting to interact with other musicians while you're playing, like a conversation. You get to musically dialogue with them. I don't know why music is so important in my family. I think there's just a culture of appreciating music. There's never been a sense in my family of you have to put on a good face. My parents are very good about acknowledging the fact that even with the Lord in your life, you're going to go through some really hard times. It's hard for me to talk about the accident, not for the reason that you may expect. It's not for emotional reasons that it's hard to talk about. It's hard for very practical reasons. I don't remember it. There's a huge chunk of my memory that's gone. But at that time, I was halfway through my intensive clinical fellowship in speech pathology. So I was very busy with that, but I was also helping to lead uh, a Bible study for high schoolers. I was in the final interviewing process of becoming a deacon. I was also training for a an intense obstacles race um, and playing several instruments. So there was a lot going on and it was about a week before Christmas. So the happiest time of the year, which we know is often the busiest time of the year. With everything we had going on, we just had to push pause and go to this funeral in North Carolina. My grandma's funeral. So I was sleeping buckled in the back seat. My mom and dad were in the front. We were about halfway there when our van drifted off the side of the road and we would have hit the rumble strips that are on the side of the highway but instead we hit a 18-wheeler semi-truck that was parked there. At that exact time, two nurses were traveling in the opposite direction on the highway. The nurses pulled over onto the side of the road and then ran across the median to come to our van. The nurses said that my mom was passed out, my dad was in a state of shock, and I was apparently hanging out of the side of the van as far as the seatbelt tethered to my waist would allow. They called 911 and said that a helicopter was needed for me. After being stabilized, I could undergo more thorough tests. I had a moderate, moderate severe brain injury, which was the most severe symptom since it led to left-sided hemiparesis, um, which you can see still, it's doing great, but this is where it's at. I spent a total of 72 days inpatient, and then I began the long process of outpatient rehab. I've completed now several years of physical, occupational, some speech therapy. Um, I do accept that therapy for me is now going to be a lifelong commitment. Since the accident, I've taken up hammer dulcimer, and there are several reasons I like that, I love it. One is that I'm able to do it. My left hand is able to hold the hammer. I can't do the fine motor required for a cello, so I love that it opens a door for me to get back to the musical activities I miss. All throughout my recovery, I've experienced the double-edged sword of cognitive progress. Like when I started being able to play hammer dulcimer, it made me grieve a little bit. 
some of the musical experiences that I had lost and that I will probably never gain. I don't know why I haven't had those very human responses of wondering, why me? Why did God allow this? For whatever reason, I've been given a grace. I haven't had that. That's not to say I haven't had any really hard moments. I've had hard moments in abundance. I don't think those are indicators of a lack of faith. I do think my relationship with the Lord now has depth that I can't articulate. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails, and the field produces no food, though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will be joyful in God my Savior. I have shockingly few grapes and olive trees and cattle, but those verses have meant so much to me throughout my recovery. There have been times where I've inserted into a paraphrase of those verses my circumstances, like even though I can't run, even though I can't rock climb, even though I can't work, yet, I love that there is yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. I love that those verses summarize how God is good and he loves us and there are reasons to praise him outside our circumstances no matter what you're going through.